The patient is a 42-year-old female who was admitted to the Neurological Intensive Care Unit five days ago with a subarachnoid hemorrhage secondary to a ruptured right anterior communicating artery. The day after admission, the patient underwent a successful craniotomy with aneurysm clipping. Her post-operative course has been uneventful. Her condition has remained stable. Her neurological status has remained intact with no neurological defects. Prophylactically, she has received post-operative IV antibiotics and dexamethasone. It is post-operative day four and the patient is beginning to develop complications. Good morning, Ms. Muzak. I'm going to be your nurse discovery today. Hi. Judy, I'm Nurse Discovery again, and I'm just going to do your quick assessment, okay? That's fine. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and take a listen to you. All right, sounds good, a little fast maybe, but all right, take a deep breath for me. Sounds good too. I'm going to take a listen to your belly. Good bow sounds. Okay. I'm just going to take a look at your eyes here. Okay, looks good. I'm just going to feel your pulses now. All right, so your pulses are just a little bit weak. Okay, all right. Are you having any pain this morning? Um, probably about a three, um, but I don't, I, don't need, I don't think I need any pain medication right now. Okay, all right, where's your pain at? That's where my incision is. Okay, all right, I'm just going to take a quick look at it and look at your IV. Okay, everything looks good. All right. Come in. Good morning again. Good morning. You remember me from this morning, and this yes. is Nurse Dallas. Good morning. She's going to help you, help me, and we're going to get your orthostatic blood pressures. What is orthostatic blood pressure? It's, uh, we take three blood pressures. It's a lying, a sitting, and a standing blood pressure. Oh, okay. And we're going to help you up out of bed. Oh, okay. Well, that makes me feel better. All right, you ready? Yeah, I think. Okay, she's going to get your first blood pressure. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and sit you up on the side of the bed, okay? We're going to sit on this side over here since all of your wires and tubes are pointing this way. Uncover you. Swing your legs over. There you go. Good. Whoa, whoa, I'm I'm kind of dizzy here. Okay, let's okay, sit here we'll just, for a minute. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and take your blood pressure again and just kind of sit there for a minute. Just hold on a minute, I don't need to fall off. Okay. You feeling any better yet? Oh, a little bit. A little yeah. bit? Okay, we'll just wait another minute. How about now? Okay. You ready to stand up? I think so. Okay, we're going to help you up and we're going to get your blood pressure again when you stand, okay? Okay. Oh, 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 that, that's not good. I can't, I can't stand up. How are you feeling? I, I'm really, really dizzy. It's kind of clammy. A little bit, yeah. I think I, I need to lay down. Okay. Get you back in bed. Okay, I'm just gonna call the lab real quick and get your labs that they drew this morning, okay? Okay. All right, give me just a second. Ring, ring. This is lab. Hi, this is Nurse Discovery. Um, I am the nurse for Judy Sneezak in room 3477. 
I just wanted to see if I could get her labs from this morning. Yeah, on her CBC, her white blood cell count was 6.5. Okay. Her hematocrit was 45%. Okay. On her chemistry, her sodium was 128. Okay. Her potassium was 4.9. Okay. Her chloride was 100. Okay. Her BUN was 330. Okay. Creatinine was 0 0.9. Okay. Her glucose was 100. Okay. Uric acid was 3.0. Okay. Serum osmolality was 310. Okay. And her urine specific gravity was 1.005. Okay. And that's all I've got for you for now. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye. You got a good memory. Hi, I'm Dr. Houston. I just wanted to come in and check on you. Nurse, how has she been doing? Good morning. Um, as you remember, this is a 42-year-old female, and she was admitted to the neurological ICU five days ago. Um, you did her craniotomy, and um, so far she's, she's doing okay. Um, she has a sinus tack, as you can see on her monitor. I see that. Um, we tried to do her orthostatics, but uh, she got too dizzy when we stood her up. Oh, so okay. we had to set her back down. Um, she's having a pretty high output. She has the Foley. Um, she's had 3,900 out in the past 24 hours. Wow, I see that. Um, she had labs. Her sodium was 128. The hematocrit was 45. Uh, BUN was 30. The serum osmolality was 310, and the specific gravity was 1.005. Um, and she is rating her pain about a 2 to 3 um, in her incision, but she's not taking anything for it. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear your pain's a little low for you. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's change her IV to 3% normal saline, 30 okay. mils an hour for the next 12 hours. Okay. Uh, then after that, I want you to uh, infuse normal saline, 125 mils per hour. Okay. Um, and then check serum sodium levels every six hours for the next 24 hours. Okay. Uh, and then every 12 hours. Then Mrs. Sneezak, what I'd like you to do is drink as much as you can today, okay? All right. I want you to have some oral fluids as much as possible. Okay. Any questions? I, I don't think so. All right, thank you. Thank you. Zach, I'm here to draw some labs on you. I need to check your sodium level. Can you give me your name and birth date? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, Do you know where you are? Um, I don't know right now. Um, I know. Okay, Miss Nizak, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go grab your nurse, okay? Uh, okay. My vitals are going down. Hi again. I'm just going to come and do another assessment on you, okay? Alright. Okay. I'm just going to take a listen. About the same, still a little fast. Take a deep breath for me. Okay, your lungs are still clear. Listen to your belly. are still good. Are you having any pain right now? You are having some pain? Yeah. Okay, could you rate it for me from 0 to 10? If 0 is no pain and 10 is the worst you've ever felt? 1. 1? Okay. 1. Alright, and is it still in your incision? Yeah. yeah. It is. Okay, I'm just going to take another look at it. Okay, still looks good. Your IV still looks good. Still a little weak, but they're there. Uh, All right, I'm just gonna take a look at your output here, okay? Uh, I see your mouth's a little dry. Uh, okay, we'll see what we can do about that. 
Well, looks like about 1200. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a bit, but. Uh, okay, can I get you anything else right now? No. Uh, okay. Ring, ring. This is Lab. Hi, this is Nurse Discovery again. I just wanted to check with my patient, Judy Sneezak, in 3477. Could you give me her labs, please? Yeah, her sodium is 125 and her urine specific gravity is 1.005 still. Okay. Lady, are you going to get do something for this patient? Come on. These labs haven't changed yet. Yeah, we're working on it. Hey, all right. Donuts for the doctor. Go ahead. Thanks. I think I will in a little bit. Okay. So, how's it going? Well, Dr. Houston, we have a problem. Okay. What is it, Ms. Nurse Discovery? Well, her sodium's 125. Her specific gravity is 1.005 still. Um, she's still running kind of tacky, about 110s. Um, her pulses are still a little weak, still having quite a bit of output, and uh, she's kind of slurring her speech now. Okay. All right. I tell you what. Let's continue the normal saline at 3, or excuse me, let's continue 3% normal saline at 30 mils an hour. Um, give the patient 325 milligram sodium tablet now. Um, monitor the hourly urine output. Get sodium levels every four hours for the next 24 until we see some symptoms resolve, okay? Okay. Uh, and then after that, we can go to every 12. Okay. And then neuro checks uh, with vital signs every two hours until she doesn't have any symptoms anymore. Okay. Okay? All right. All right, thanks. Thank you. Take a donut. I'll grab one later. Thanks. Okay. down now. Oh, well, that's good. All right, take a deep breath. Okay, lungs sound good. Okay, good bowel sounds. All right. Are you having any pain or anything right now? No, I'm not. No? Okay, good. Awesome. Good, good, good. All right. Now look at your dressing. Looks good. Ivy still looks good. Pulses are nice and strong now. Whew, that's, that's a good sign. All right. Looks like your mouth's a little more moist now. You've been yeah. drinking? Yeah. Okay. Lots of water? Yes. All right. Good. Ring, ring. This is Lab. Hi, this is uh, Nurse Discovery again. I just wanted to check on my patient's labs. Which patient? Judy Sneezak in 3477. Gosh, you nurses think we can read minds. Well, her sodium is 132 and her urine specific gravity is 1.015. Okay. All right, thank you. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a report on Judy Sneezak now. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and transfer her out. Um, she's 42 year old female. She was admitted to the ICU five days ago. Um, she had a subarachnoid hemorrhage secondary to rupture of a right anterior communicating artery. Uh, the next day she had a craniotomy and it was uh, successful. Um, her blood pressure was stable postoperatively. Um, she had some IV fluids and you know all that normal stuff. Um, her vital signs now are good. Um, her heart rate is normal, um, normal sinus rhythm. Um, her labs are good, no pain, and uh, she has a 20 gauge IV in the left arm. Okay. Um, it's patent. She's alert and oriented. She did have a little trouble with some slurred speech, but uh, that's resolved now. Okay. Any questions? Um, who is her attending physician? Uh, Dr. Houston. Okay. 
All right, we got a room ready for. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You sure not even a little bit like three out of a ten? No, not one zero. Zero out of ten. Right. No, it's three. <laughs> she had me eating a donut earlier. I was like, oh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy in a room that they have mummies. And <laughs> do you know, do you, part of your head's supposed to be shaved, so we could shave your head and do this. Okay, please, no. I can only take Here. So, so much. And if people are watching on that lovely camera up there, that is. Somebody get me some tape. That's not a camera. It isn't. What is it? Oh, it's a tracker thing. Oh. Okay. Oh. 